All right, y'all. So we're back out here at the landscaping shop. And today we bought ourselves a brand new property. Basically, this property came up for sale about two weeks ago. We finally got the deal on it. So we can go check it out today, see what's all there. It was a closed auction, so you couldn't go in there or anything. And it was online. They only had pictures of the outside, but from what it was looking like, it's going to be pretty promising. Also, if you guys enjoyed today's video, help me out by getting that like button a little tap. It helps out the video a ton, and I appreciate it so much. I'm not joking when it says it really helps out the video. It actually does. So we're going to grab the zero turn here because from what it looked like in the pictures, it was very overgrown. So it's, uh, it needs a good cleanup there, a bit of a mow. So we can actually make it look somewhat good again. Also, supposedly there's a bunch of stuff on the property. So we'll have to see once we get there. I'm hoping there's actually some decent stuff out on the property, some stuff that we can actually make some money on so we can recoup a little bit of our cost because this property did not come cheap considering it's right on the outskirts of town and uh, properties like that are going for a lot of money. But I'll see you guys when we get there. All right, the property entrance is just up here. Got the keys for the gate, so I think the gate's locked, so we'll have to go unlock it there. Hey, gum, this is a little overgrown. All right, let's unlock it. There we go. Now we can actually get in here. So they got a bunch of shrubs and stuff along the uh, edge of the property, and that's looking pretty overgrown as well as the uh, grass around here. It's pretty tall. So that was one of the reasons why I brought down the mower today, because we're most likely going to be needing it. So basically the story behind this property was it's a rental property and the original renter of the property left it, left everything that he had here and uh, the bank ended up having to do something with the original owner of the property. And uh, basically to put it the easy way, it got put up for auction in the end. So it's closed auction. You couldn't go in, couldn't go and actually see anything except for pictures on the outside of it. So we kind of blindly bought this property, which on the outside, it's not too great. I mean, you got an older shed back here. I think this should be open. Let's open this up here. Yep. Just an old shed, bunch of overgrown grass through here. So that's why I brought the lawnmower course so we could uh, clean this property up. Basically, my plan is we've done this before, but take everything out of here. At least most of everything, either build a new house or put a new trailer in here and uh, resell this property. We've done it before. It's usually pretty profitable. So we decided we'd do it again after this property came up for sale here. So the house, I don't know, the house is probably locked. Yeah, the house is locked. I can't even get in there. Can I hop up on top of the roof? Can we get a peek in here? Nope. Can't even see in here. Okay, well, I'll have to go either break down the door or uh, find a key. But yeah, it was an old rental property. So we basically have ownership of it now, which I mean it's not looking too bad i've seen better obviously either the original owner of the property was uh into a lot of vehicle maintenance whatever because they got a service center here i don't know if this was like an old repair shop or something but we'll check in there in a minute but they're still running power to the place here so uh we can actually see if this works i imagine this has been uh just sitting here for quite a while so i don't know we'll see oh well that gum it works put it back down here oh sweet that's nice okay uh this door is locked i gotta go grab the bolt cutters good thing i brought those not my first rodeo here all right there we go door should be open oh we got a quad lights on now we can actually see in here a little bit better hey gum old honda i figured we'd find some stuff in here i mean it looked pretty promising from the outside of the property here so that's the first decent find we've had a quad i like this it's a good start so basically just an old workshop nothing too crazy but uh the quad in here is probably the best find a few tools actually this is a pretty well put together shop you got a few tools over there got some jacks a bunch of just junk pretty much but i guess let's shut that back up there and uh, we'll deal with that a little bit later anything behind here no i'm not seeing anything we kind of go around the property here they got what's this an old fire truck i guess i don't think this thing is worth much more than uh scrap yeah, this is, this is looking pretty rough around the edges. So yeah, pretty much a scrap, I'd say, on that thing. There's an old car over here. Again, probably scrap, I'd say. Yeah, not too much we can do with that. All this stuff we're going to have to clear out of the property. Bit of bricks here, a bunch of garbage. Feel like we got a few garden tractors. Okay, I got to figure out how to get this open. Ah, shoot, the door's jammed. Um, how, how am I even going to get this open here? If I brought a skid steer, I could just jam the forks under there and lift it up here. I guess I'll have to go grab a crowbar and see if I can just get it wedged up there enough because i really wouldn't mind getting in there okay we got ourselves a crowbar this should do the trick okay bring it up bring it up and there we go okay Whew, that was a tough one well, well well what do we have here john deere 33 2 or 332 either way you want to put it here got a little trailer on the back hey gum these actually don't look like they've been sitting for too long they don't got too much dust on them and then uh what is this alice chambers 608 huh interesting so this guy must have uh, been a bit of a collector of garden tractors i guess 
There we go. Flipped on a light so we can actually see in here a little bit better. Huh. Okay. Well, we're definitely not in the green for this property at all, but, uh, you know, at least we'll be able to probably get a little bit of our initial investment back. Obviously, the property is worth a good amount of money. So once, of course, you get it cleaned up here, I think this property will look like a good mow and you take down some of the old buildings and stuff and put a decent house or trailer out here, it would look really good. And it could actually be a pretty nice property. I mean, it's just on the outskirts of town. It's kind of just perfect. It's all treed in. You couldn't really ask for much more than that. Oh, what do we got here? Bunch of tires. Oh, let's... Okay, I want to surprise myself. I'm not trying to look in the windows here. I want to surprise myself. I might, it might be a disappointment, to be honest, but uh, we'll see. Okay, well, this door is jammed. I don't know what's the deal with it. This one's jammed, too, so I wonder if they've jammed them from the inside here. I'll try to just bust through this one. There we go. Oh, hold on. Got to squeeze through the door here. Dad, gum. Hold on. Is that a second gen? It is. I was worried it was a Mack truck there for a second. If you don't get that joke, it's because of this little thing on the front. This kind of looks like one that's... Uh, we moved for one of our clients there the other day. He had uh, an old second gen. This looks pretty dang similar, except uh, a little bit of a different paint job. It's got a uh, sport front bumper here. Still got the topper. I think it was pretty close to the same shade of red. Didn't have the uh, black two-tone, but very similar truck. Let's peek inside the interior here. Ooh, looks pretty clean. Okay, we'll get to that in a minute, because I think that's going to be the most valuable thing out here as far as uh, all our vehicles go. Old camper here. Yeah, I could actually use another camper. This might not be too bad. We might be uh, we might be in the green here pretty quick. An old Case 235. Looking like uh, one of the bigger garden tractors we got here. Got a front end loader, of course. Man, this is cool. And he has a, just a Honda trike. Huh, another Honda trike. So I'm not too sure. These were a little bit of a different models, I think. This one, I think is a bit more of a racing trike. I'm not too sure. I am not uh, very experienced in the trike side of things, but a 200x they look very similar but they're not maybe this was just like a modified one or something i don't know they look pretty similar though okay well we've got two trikes an atv in there we've got three garden tractors in total camper and a truck okay i managed to get this door open here let's just unlock the door here oh wow this thing has basically been untouched the interior is so clean the k on it is next to nothing I'm not going to try to start this thing up because, of course, I want to take it out to a diesel mechanic, make sure it's all good to go. I mean, dry rot, it's not going to do many good things for a truck like this. It's not good for any of the seals. The, actually, the tires don't look half bad, so I don't know how long this has necessarily been abandoned for. They didn't really give me too much of a date, so uh, I guess I'd have to see. But this is going on a trailer. I'm not going to try to start it up. But all in all, I'd say this is probably the best find out of today. Next to, of course, the Honda. I mean, yeah, you can't beat this thing. I don't know. The Dodge comes pretty close, but, uh, huh. Okay. Well, I guess I'm going to have to come back here with a bigger trailer, but I think first I'm going to unload the lawnmower and we're going to get to work just cleaning up this property a little bit, making it look half decent at least before we start getting a bunch of stuff out of here. And then it can just look a little bit better after that, but a lot of really cool stuff out here. I'm, this was a really good buy. Pretty happy with it. So we got the lawnmower unloaded here. We're just going to, uh, mow this up a little bit here it's not a very big property so it won't take very long actually it'll be pretty fast with this thing well we got done the one side here just got a little bit of cleanup on this side and then one more decent chunk over there got a little old barbecue in there that probably has not been used in years i don't know if i'd trust it and once you get that grass mown on the side there that hedge looks a million times better this tall grass is actually not too bad for this mower i thought it would be a little bit uh, rough for it but it seems to be handling it pretty good Okay, we got a lot of the yard stuff done here. I'm actually going to go and head out the gate there real quick. It's got a little bit of cleanup here left. But just outside of the gate here, there is a, a bit of stuff alongside of the road there. So I want to get that cleaned up too. Almost done with this side here. Just a little more along the edge. Perfect. I would say we are done. And this yard is looking a million times better. I'm actually going to bring back a weed whacker at some point this week here. And just clean up the yard a tad bit more and i think it'll look perfect well now that we know what we got out here and the yard is mowed i'm gonna head back grab a bigger trailer and then we can start bringing some of this other stuff back here and hopefully get to work on cleaning out this property so i'll see you guys in a little bit so i'm just trying to get this trailer backed into the yard here um i'm currently not doing a very good job because uh, i need to improve my uh trailer backing up skills currently they're not too good but I think we managed to get it. This should be good here. Okay, so what are we getting out of here first? I'm thinking the ATV because we can just roll that onto the trailer here because uh, obviously the second gen that's in the shed there, we can't just roll that on there. So we'll have to bring back a skid steer or a tractor or something or another to uh, get that thing 
put on a trailer. There we go. Let's just roll this thing right on here. I'm thinking we're just going to grab some of these trikes here. I don't know if we can actually push these tractors up on here. I think they might be a little heavy, but we'll try anyway. Well, I put some fresh gas and uh, charged up the battery a little bit here. Lucky for us, there's a battery charger right there, but I think this thing should run. We'll try it. We'll try to fire it up here. Let's see if this thing's going to start. Oh, okay. Well, that's even better. We can actually drive it onto the trailer now instead of having to uh, push it on there. I don't know. I'm thinking of it. I think the guy really liked Honda. I mean, he's got a Honda quad here, Honda three-wheeler here, another Honda three-wheeler in there. Okay, well, I think that is all we can actually get on the trailer for now. Um, Yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to actually get any of those garden tractors on there. I think I'm just going to bring the skid steer out and we'll just get them lifted on there. I guess I could try start them, but that's kind of like a whole hassle. And I'd rather wait till we're at the big shop to do that because then it'd just be a lot easier. So uh, we're going to bring a skid steer back or a tractor to uh, get a lot of this other stuff on the trailer. But anyway, guys, that's going to be the end of the episode for today. If you did enjoy, smash that like button. Also, if you're new, consider subscribing. Let me know if you guys want more abandoned kind of properties like this. It's a lot of fun buying these, seeing what's inside fixing him up and stuff. Obviously, that's going to be another video of us fixing this all up here. It should be a lot of fun. Anyway, hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see y'all in the next one.